Lisa Nichols was once a single mom struggling to pay for diapers for her young son. Now she's CEO of a multi-million dollar business motivating the masses. And her self-help books challenge people to tap into their potential to accomplish their goals. She's a New York Times bestselling author who has co-authored books like Abundance Now and Chicken Soup for the African American Soul. And she's traveled the world offering workshops and programs showing people a blueprint to make their dreams come true. The world didn't give me permission to be here, but I didn't ask for it either. So some of you are still asking for permission. And sometimes you have to stop asking for permission and it's just time to give the world notice. <laughs> so I just showed up to invite you to give the world notice that you're coming. Give the world notice that you've been here. Give the world notice that you've played polite long enough. Now it's time to play full out. Give the world notice that unapologetic just showed up. Give the world notice that non-negotiable just showed up. Give the world notice that if they can't handle your light, that you're tired, you're no longer gonna dim your light. If they can't handle your light, put on some shades. <laughs> just saying. From Nassau in the Bahamas, please welcome Lisa Nichols to the show. Lisa. All right, listen, let the world know. Put them on notice, Lisa. I love that. I love that message. So here's the deal full disclosure this show is taped because right now, you are prepared. This, this is not a fake background, Tam Fam, behind her. She's in the Bahamas because you are getting married tomorrow. Yes, yes. So this is the beautiful estate in the Bahamas that uh, I'm getting married in. All of the decorators are all waiting patiently for the, our interview uh, to be wonderful and I, I waited patiently for my invite, didn't get it, but we're still celebrating with you. So listen, this show is about family and how family inspires us. This form of family being matrimony and a wedding, this is your first marriage at age 55. Yeah, it is, it is. I had, um, I had a lot of work to do, you know. People talk about the biological clock and age and everyone's clock isn't set the same way. Um, I, I was working on Lisa. I wanted to bring the best version of myself. I wanted, to, I wanted to heal parts of me that I didn't want to bring into a marriage. And quite frankly, I was, I was busy being a single mom and learning how to be a good one and a CEO. And so it just wasn't something that I had to do early. I didn't, I didn't subscribe to by 30, I need to be married. Yeah. By 35, by, I, I didn't want to subscribe to that. Don't put your clock in my body. Oh, <laughs> I love that. And, and you raised your son Jelani as a single parent. I was raised by my mom who was a single parent for many years. And my mom used to always say, I would go without so that you could have. I went with holes in my clothes so that you could go to the schools that would prop you up to be who I am today. And so when you talk about family, that child inspired the woman that you are yeah. today. You would not have been you without him. Yeah, which is why uh, he's the, the man walking me down the aisle. Oh. I walked him down the aisle almost three years ago and tomorrow he will walk me down the aisle. And, um, and celebrate and give me away to my husband. So uh, I was honored to prioritize parenting. It wasn't easy, yeah. um, but that's, you know, that's a part of the journey. And my son watched me, I always say the best example I gave my son wasn't to avoid being knocked down because mm -hmm. I was knocked down and he saw it. Yeah. The best example I can give my son is how he saw me get back up over and over and over yeah. and over. And, and that not that the beauty of family? They inspire us, we inspire them. You know, you give this give and take. And, and I read a lot about, you know, your message and what you bring. And as I said, I think a lot about my mom who was 19 when she got pregnant with me. She's now 71 and I, I, I say to her, I knew you win. And she's like, I knew you win too. You know, and it was this exchange, <laughs> yeah. this journey. Yeah. In 1997, yeah. you started your business, Motivating the Masses, and you wanted to share these tools with people for success. But what I love that you call the advice that you give, you call it plain old everyday people skills. And I think that's sometimes lost. People feel like if it's not from an Ivy League or a professor or for someone, in your case, you're a multimillionaire. But in reality, it's the salt of the earth common sense advice that we don't always listen yeah. to. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, I, I, I look at who I am today and I go, that don't get caught up in that because I was the girl who got a fail in English and got a D minus in speech. Yeah. I was the woman on government's assistance and I was the woman that found out at 25 she's functionally dyslexic. Mm. So where I am now, that's that's just the current sense. I, what I've journeyed through was more of my journey, is more of my life, you know, and I didn't never I never got stuck there. I believe that that we take up real estate in a moment. Yeah. It's supposed to be a moment, but we make it a lifetime. The difference between my journey and most is that I allowed a difficult moment or a learning moment or a highlight moment to be a moment. And I was always looking for what's my next moment as well. And so um, I think there's just great messaging and the opportunity to recreate, restart, press reset, yeah. redesign, recommit, yeah. rechoose, re-energize, re rejuvenate. That's what the Bahamas was for me. A place where I can just re-choose Lisa, re-choose love, re-choose trusting me and love in the Aww. same sentence. Well, coming up, the man that Lisa chose and chose her, Marcellus Hall is going to join us to talk about their family bond, their wedding tomorrow, and what family now means to him in this form. We'll be right back. My boyfriend just proposed to me, and I said yes, and I am so excited because I waited for him. I dated other people, but I wouldn't go all the way. I, I, I knew my soul felt that I would know, and I know with everything in my fiber, everything in my being, that I waited for a very good reason, that I have the partner for me that's worthy of me. Welcome back, Sam Fam. We've been talking to motivational speaker and best-selling author Lisa Nichols. She filmed that video in 2020, just minutes after she'd accepted a marriage proposal from her boyfriend, sports anchor Marcellus Hall, who works for Our TV in the Bahamas. She posted it on Instagram with the caption, don't settle, it's worth the wait. Wait no more. Let's bring in Marcella to the conversation. Getting ready for the big day. Congratulations, Marcella. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? Um, no, no, I wasn't until you asked me if I was nervous. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> but no, I'm good. <laughs> okay, I won't ask that. Don't be nervous. I do have to ask you, because we're talking about family today. You know, mother, child, with Lisa and Jelani, Gabrielle Union and her family, but the bond of family when you choose it through marriage or choose it through commitment. What does that mean for you? How does this version of family inspire you? For me, I mean, this was like one of those things that, you know, we, when you finally come across like that, that one thing that was missing, like it's like a jigsaw puzzle. And you put it all together and there's one little thing missing, you can't figure it out. And then you finally find that one piece and you click it in and it's done. And, oh. and uh, that's exactly how it feels right now. That is so beautiful. <laughs> now, you met on a trip in Jamaica. Keynote speaker, Marcellus was there as a reporter. This is the part I love. You went your separate ways. Marcellus lived in the Bahamas. You went home, Lisa, to California. He started texting you eight years Marcellus, you text her every month for yeah, yeah. eight years. Yeah, I'm a glutton for punishment. You know, it's one of those things. <laughs> I, I, what was I, happening I, in those text messages, Lisa, that it took eight years? I, I know, right? <laughs> um, he, all he would say, literally, all he would say is, hi. Mm -hmm. And I would say, hi. Like, I just... I, I didn't, I, you, you know what? I have to say, and 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 maybe someone in the audience can relate to me. When I I was over 210 pounds when I met him, and when we met, and I was still on my journey to go. God, how can I get to the best version of me? So I innate, I projected a story onto him. I thought he's tall, dark, handsome. He was fit like this, he, and I said he's he. Listen, he got a wife, a girlfriend, and nine kids. He is not really single. And I just made the story up. I'm not going to lie. I made... And then I said, and he's only claiming two of those kids and the other seven not being claimed. Oh, Lisa. But the, re the reality was I needed to get to a place where I knew I felt worthy of someone choosing me hard yeah. and choosing me clear. And he kept saying hi for eight years, and finally I figured it out. 
Find <laughs> Marcel, she had your whole life story, which was none of it was true, but you hung in right, there. Right. I tell them all the time, baby, we are together because of your consistency. Aww. And here's what happened. I, what happened that made me notice him was I was in the shower and I was crying out to God, God, just bring me a man who's consistent. Yeah. Just consistent. Be his word. I get out the shower and my phone pings. Hi. Uh, <laughs> listen, say no more. Well, congratulations. I can't wait to see the beautiful pictures. You're in one of the most beautiful places in the world, Nassau, Bahamas. Enjoy it. Marcellus, hi and bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good luck.